Hey there, my name's Anastasia and I'm a program manager here at Clipchamp. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a killer Halloween party invite from scratch using Clipchamp's spooky stock footage. So to get started, I'm just going to head over to the Clipchamp website where you can browse all of our free and premium stock content. I'm going to search for Halloween and have a look through the hundreds of options to choose from here. I like the look of this one, so let's start with that. As you can see, it's imported the stock footage into the timeline and it's ready for me to edit. You can also add more stock as well from inside the editor here in the sidebar. I'm going to go ahead and add this one for the first part of my video. I want to make it about 5 seconds long, so I'm just going to use the split and delete tools to remove the end of the clip. You can also just trim it from the ends like this. For this video, I wanted to have about 4 or 5 different stock videos, one after the other, so I'm going to go ahead and add them in now, trimming them all to about 5 seconds in length. For the last clip, I'm going to add a fade out for about one second so that the video doesn't end super abruptly. Okay, so now I'm going to add some text. Our motion titles live over here in the sidebar and I think this smoky title looks great for my Halloween invite. To change the text, simply click on the item and go to the text tab in the property panel. You can change the size over in the transform tab and change the text color as well in the color tab. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. I'm not super happy with it because it's a bit hard to see against the background. You can move and resize it here in the stage, but it's still a little bit too transparent for me. I think I might choose a different text style, and it's super easy to change the style of this title by just dragging another title on top of it to replace it. Okay, this one I can see a little better. The glitch title has some additional properties. You can change the amount of glitch so it's a bit more subtle. That looks better, I think. Now I'm going to duplicate this text and have it show slightly later for the second half of my sentence. It's still a bit hard to read so I'm going to reduce the exposure of the stock video so the titles stand out a bit more. I think we can make this cut between the two stock clips a little bit fancier with some transitions. You could add an overlay in the graphics tab here or use a transition. If you start dragging one in, you can see the green plus icons, which is indicating where I can add this transition. Okay, so now I'm basically going to repeat all of those steps again to finish the remainder of my video. I feel like this font that I'm using isn't super scary, so I'm going to change that to something else. You can upload your own fonts as well and add them into your brand kit to reuse across all of your videos, which is pretty handy.
Now that I'm happy with my title, I can just use the duplicate button to make a copy for the next slide. Okay, now that I have all of my videos and text done, I want to add some spooky background music to my video. Clipchamp has hundreds of royalty-free stock music and sound effects to choose from. I think I like the sound of this one, so I'm going to add it into the timeline and move it to the start of the video. Also, trimming the end so that it finishes when my video does. I don't want it to end abruptly, so I'm going to add some fade to the end as well, just like I faded out the stock video. So now I'm going to play back my video. Okay, you get the idea. So now I need to export my video and I want to use 1080p and rename my project so I can find it easily later. And that's it. While your video is exporting, you can share your video with one of the many integrations we've got. I'm going to use the copy link option so anyone with the link can view my party invite via the Clipchamp share page. If you lose your link, you can always reshare it here in the project page, um, and this is what your guests will see when they receive it. <laughs>